Okay. Uh, good Daco, you feel me? Yeah. You know, I'm with Jane J, you feel me? Loco Pablo and this bitch LH4 ENT brand promotion. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. We in the Uber with the poppy, you feel me? Poppy, yeah. Pablo, Pablo, ah, keep it lit. Ah, uh, we in here right now. You already know what the deal is. I'ma make it, got no time to be wasted I got one to do Do it up, I'ma make it All you diggin' is hatin' Watch me make it through Do it up, I'ma make it Got no time to be wasted I got one to do Do it up, I'ma make it All you diggin' is hatin' Watch me make it through What's good, everybody? It's your boy James J. You are now watching your favorite podcast, my favorite podcast, shit, everybody's favorite podcast. Talking shit about shit. The podcast where we have fun, get lit, and thank God while we doing it, man. Bro, by far one of the best shit talkers I know. One of the best shit talkers. He going for the top ten in the world, my nigga. We got my dog. My man, I remember back in the day when we was at Club One. What that at Club Luck? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this man know we from Club Luck. We go way back. Way back. Oh, my <laughs> oh, God. Yo, we got Loco Pablo in the building. Yo, What's up, my G? Down, man? What's up with you, D, man? Bro, good just be chilling, man. Oh. Out, it's good to see this man. You know, he had the one that got famous on him, the win yeah. across the world on him, boy. I'm like, where we going with? Man, listen, you know this shit, man. Nigga out here, bro. Nigga gotta get on, bro. It's all left and shit. Nobody else. Fuck Amen. it. All of us gotta eat. That's dog. This shit here so lit, though. Shit, bro. I thank you, man. Shit. shit. What? I'm proud of you, bro. Shit. Everybody else doing some shit. Yeah, man. Same yeah. what you been going through, shit. And see you still happy and smiling, shit. Yeah. Trust me. Everybody else do the same thing. Bro. I just thank you, man. Like, I thank you just for being here, bro. I thank you just coming and seeing you, dog. Because, bro, I missed you, man. Like, we gotta get some more wild shit like back in the day, bro. Like we, we got to, man. Man, shit gotta turn up. We need to turn up on a lot of shit, man. Yeah. Hey, even though 2020 been fucked up the yeah. whole year, been fucked up year for a lot of shit going on. Yeah. So you know, best thing for us to do, shit. 2020 fucked up. Let's just wait for the next year, but still do what you gotta do this year. Yep. You feel me? Everything you gotta shit. do this year. Keep on moving, man. Keep doing what you gotta do. That's the best thing I know, bro. That's a, that's how I keep it. Amen, amen. I can't do it. Can't be no other way. Amen. Well, I understand, man. Shoot. But well, we gonna get into this first segment, and y'all know what this segment is. It's the drink of the week, nigga. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go, man. My dog hey. already know. I'm good with the drinks. <sighs> yes, hey. church. I'm good with the drinks. I'm a fool. <laughs> I'm a fool with the drinks, bro. <laughs> Hey, oh no, boy! I I I tip my hat to that boy. He's the drinker out of all of them. That boy gonna drink ass on the bus. Ah, right. hey man, Sue, but I gotta get your ass on the drink first go around, man. Well, we go. Let's do it. Today we got the Greyhound. Yeah, let's do the Greyhound. He he, look at. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to think like, what is that, bro? It's simple. We in the bitty. It's just some grapefruit juice and some vodka. But it tastes good and it feel good when you get enough in your system. Oh, we let that go. Let's go. You ready? I want to ah. see what you about. See the cut? Oh, look at the coloring in that. That. See that right there? See? Y'all don't know about that. Oh, I'm showing. I'm showing. I'm showing. I'm live, people too. This is for. This is for the YouTube. This is for the live. Boom. <laughs> Oh. All righty, oh lord, let pop him open. So, Shit, shout out to my boy X too. He done logged in. I see you, bitch. Hey, shout out to everybody on the live, man. I thank y'all for coming through. Oh, oh lord. Oh. Oh. Have you cut me? You can see what this shit talking about. And you see how this nigga just pull that shit? He don't even try to like, you feel me? <laughs> Yo, the nigga don't even try to like smoothly pull that shit. 
We were supposed to tap up first. But, you know, yeah. Hold on, but damn. Bet that up. But God, that, that be a hit. Mm-hmm. We're going to go ahead and get into our second segment, man. It's called The Guest Spotlight. This segment, all about you, is asking you about your career in the state of hip-hop. You ready? Yeah. All right. What's been the biggest obstacle you've had to overcome with your music? Me? Promotion. Mm. Promotion. That's the most hardest thing out of all. Promotion. Because you could do the you could do the track. You could do the music video. Yeah. But what about your revenue? Yeah. That business part. The business side. When they say, yeah, that, that shit was true. The music game is 10% music, 90% business. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, the promotion is like, that's my biggest, like, that was my biggest pet peeve. Yeah. I couldn't do nothing else. Like, if I couldn't get 5,000 streams within a week, mm -hmm. I'd be, I'd be totally disappointed in myself. Yeah. You feel me? That's factual. That shit, that's real shit. I like that. I like that, man. All right, second question. What do you enjoy and or hate about being in this business? What I enjoy is the road trips. Mm -hmm. The road trips and shit like that. What I hate is the niggas in this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but speak on it, niggas, speak on it. It's the niggas, you, it's you niggas, man. You niggas, like, every nigga, like, all right, yeah, you a hot artist, but you mm, it don't matter how hot you is, it's all nigga. Just keep doing you. Yeah. Really? Don't get big hit. Yep. And I see that all the time. Niggas get big hit. So as long as I see these niggas get big hit together, what I do, I bag back off these stupid ass. Right. That's fat. That's fat. All right. Third question. If you could change one thing in the industry, what would it be? Six nine. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sound, hey, sounds good to me. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, that yeah. sounds like a good thing to me. Yeah, yeah, but no, nah, um, shit. If I could change one thing in the industry, shit, I really real shit. I can't even think what I change because a lot of shit don't really bother me like that. Yeah. A lot of that shit don't bother me because what they do, that's on them. Because that fall back on them. That's how you think about it. But shit, if I could change anything, it'd be like the connects. Yeah. The connections, you feel me? If I know this nigga, I'm going to link you in with this nigga. Yeah, because we're trying to build something instead of you just... You feel me? If I know somebody that knows somebody, I'm going to link and I know, oh, boy, I put them two together. Mm -hmm. But that'd be an evil... Ooh. You feel me? Bam, bam, nigga got something. Now we got, now we got something in place. Man. Motherfuckers don't want to do that. Motherfuckers yeah. want to keep shit to themselves. The harbor and like, hey, bro, like I know this person, but I know this person good, but I'm not gonna link them in because they not in my inner circle and shit like that. Well, like, I don't think like that. That's niggas. You know who niggas who think like that? Niggas who will cross you over in the end. Mm -hmm. If you didn't want to put the man on, what you put the man on for? Now you end up crossing the man out like a motherfucking crossing boy. You yep. feel me? Snaking so, the man out because you want some bullshit. Yeah, the niggas be really slime. Yeah. What are Jules? Jules, what's good, nigga? <laughs> All right, next question. Where's the state of hip hop culture in your mind? New Orleans. No, I said, <laughs> nigga. No, I feel you. I feel you. And I, I, I get what you said. You know what I'm saying? Where's the state of like where is the where's the whole like state state of hip hop culture? Like what what you think of it? And then is hip hop dead or alive to you? Hip hop alive right now. You feel me? Cause all right, you know why people say hip hop dead? Cause nobody ain't making the same music back from the eighties and mm -hmm. the seventies. Nigga ain't making that music no more. Yep. It's a, you gotta understand. The genre gonna change, it's still gonna be hip hop, but the way the music going right now, it's it's good. You feel me? It's alive. It like most music, like when the baby came out, that shit was half. This is bitches like this all day. Yep. You feel me? <laughs> like bitches just doing that shit out of nowhere. I seen little kids doing this shit. So right. basically, like how y'all said the, the game did when that shit had a lot of people like hype. Mm -hmm. That shit ain't the game. Like in the, my state of mind, where, where that shit everything at. 
I feel like shit. There always gonna be a new, 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 new artist come out with some smacking shit. Yeah. Like that new song is hit, hit, it's oh, hit. Yeah, yeah. That shit hard, but a couple of bitches don't like it. Yeah. I know some bitches that they be like, "Cause all he gonna say is hit, hit." But it's like it's you gotta, hit. you gotta understand. Like people saying it's dead, but I think it's different. At this point in time, like I had, I, like even me, I had to grow up. Cause me, I'm more of a dude. I want to listen to that lyrical shit. I want to hear like the bars and shit. But at the same time. You don't want to hear that shit in the club when you trying to be up on some bitches. Like, you want to, like, you know, you want to hear some shit that's going to have you yeah. know, loose and shit. That whole throwing it back. Yeah. yeah. And then that whole going to throw it back off that, like, certain songs. Certain yeah, songs. Certain songs <laughs> is, is highway music. Like, yeah. they, like they, uh, Ross. Yeah. That nigga make it, like, nigga, you go put Ross CD in if a bitch still use CDs. You yeah. put Ross CD in or you go link your phone and ride to an old Ross album. Yup. Yeah. I mean, bitch, from here to Georgia, bitch, I ride to a Ross, whole mm-hmm. Ross album. And come back. You, hey, bro. This shit gonna be lit, man. All right, last question. Last question, because we got to go ahead and keep the segment going. All right, what era would you place your music in? Like, we had a specific era where, like, okay, I want to go, like, head-to-head with with this type, with, like, these people. Hot Boy. Hot, oh, hot Boy era? 99, 2000? Yeah, from 99 to the 2000, man. Y'all already oh, know Oh, shit. That boy said that. That boy said, not, hey, well, that was an era right now, boy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm in that era. Like, my mm. music, like, right there, bro. Mm. I swear to you, I swear to like, I got that hot boy feeling, like, rest in peace to my dog, Chuck. You feel me? He just yeah. died August 16th. Yeah, rest in peace. And so, you feel me? It's like, hanging me, Chuck, and Lurch. We got the song Spin Again. Nigga, that oh, shit yeah, gave me the hot boy <laughs> feeling so much, even shooting a video, nigga. That was yeah. like a year ago we shot the video. Yeah. Nigga got the hot boy feeling so, like, the whole song, like, I'm like, damn. Then when I went to New Orleans and went recording my shit, like, I got a song, my um, my manager, his name, one of my managers, his name, John Maximilian. Yeah. You feel me? He he, he missed a cool uh, manager, too, you feel yeah. me, and all that shit. He, he, managed, he managed a lot of artists and shit. So... I got I got this song like from New Orleans. If, if you step behind, step in pussy, nigga, go. He came in the studio. I recorded the whole song by myself. Yeah. Me and my dog YL. YL, look, look who that. Me and YL. Yeah. Just, now from the house to the big studio, YL still with me. You feel yeah. me? Man, we recorded that shit. Nigga, everybody in the studio like this. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just steady, basically like, oh my god. Yeah. This shit going bonkers. This shit going bonkers. And the shit that I'm like, yo, that's what we need to do. Yeah. I'm like, man, then Max, he was like, he like, you give me that mystical, you give me like that juvie. Yeah. Like, I got that the whole, type of vibe, like, yo. I got that whole type of vibe because all my songs be different. Yeah. I'm never hitting on the same tempo, you feel me? That's, that's why I say, yo, I'm in the 90s, baby. 99 to the 2000s. You yeah, feel me? That, that was love, <laughs> that was love <laughs> boy. 99 to, hey, boy, that's a, I remember, like, you coming in with that shit, like, hey. Well, yeah, it had to be coming with some shit, like, that shit gotta be slapping, and that shit gotta have, like, some barrage, kind of like, like, a little bit of barrage coming with that bitch, too. Man, you better be hitting on, if you don't hit the first bar, you better hit the next bar. And if you don't hit the next bar, you better hit, like, and you better keep hitting. Hey, well, that was that shit, that was good, that was good, that was good, shit, that was, that was good shit, that was up, bro. All right. We gonna go to oh you guys mm-hmm. you wanna say something mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay okay shit all right we gonna go into this next segment called nigga <laughs> why you looking at me like that you like nigga you like nigga you ever you ever been in the moment you see some dumb ass shit you just be like nigga yeah that's what this shit is all about <laughs> just a nigga segment. Just segments dealing with niggas doing nigga shit. shit. Niggas on nigga shit, huh? Niggas on nigga shit. All right. We gonna talk about Mad to Style in the Tory Lane. Man, listen, man. Got to. <laughs> Got to. <laughs> Damn, why he had to ask me about that? Real man. talk. Real talk, because first... Matt was like, oh, you know, I did get shot, but when, da, da, da. like, she didn't really say who did it. Then, man came out with like, yep, yep. Tori did it. Tori shot me. Yeah. <laughs> then, we get the, uh, what's the name, that Tori, 
apologize. He said, I know you'll probably never speak to me again, but genuinely, I apologize for shooting you. How you apologize for blowing the bitch down? <laughs> <laughs> In the foot, too. That means you weren't trying to kill a bitch. That means you were just trying to make a point. Like, bitch, I'll bust your ass. You got to show bitch, I'll lift your soul. Hey, man, you better calm down. Man, oh my God, what? Hey, real shit, do what I think about that shit. Now, that's some real nigga shit. Nigga shit. <laughs> now, look, do what I think about that's that. That's some Canadian nigga shit. That's some Canadian <laughs> nigga shit. You feel me? That's some white boy nigga shit. Yep. He's a white nigga. You feel me? Basically, no cap. I don't give a fucking Tory see this or not. He can suck my ass. G shit. Fuck Tory, <laughs> man. <laughs> Cause listen, it's yeah, not even white nigga shit. It's not even like, bro, the nigga real shit. I want to know what makes you grab for the hammer, and it's two girls in the car. I ain't protected Megan Thee Stallion because I don't know what was said in that car. Cause Megan from Texas, yeah. she got a slick ass mouth. So, guess what? Tory probably won with that shit. He he feel like he a New York nigga anyway. Yeah. He feel like he from New York, so your son, he gonna blow your ass down. <laughs> You'll be our bust your ass. Yeah, so, G shit, son, you better calm your ass down. I see what, like, I can't say I see what, like, at the end of the day, like, I, over, like, over shoot, like, I can see, like, at that point, if you ready to shoot a bitch, I can see her, like, just shit, punch the bitch in the shoulder, just bitch, hey, y'all done. I know so, Megan, she's six feet, bro. He only probably by, he, that nigga five, five two. No, no, that's that's on record. That nigga is 5'2", five, five, two, two. 120. You know what I'm saying? Megan Thee Stallion is 6 feet, 200 and something pounds. Oh, oh, and that's straight solid. Oh, Lord, boy, <laughs> you gave me a... Hey, boy. Damn, talk. Bitch, I... Ooh. Bitch, I climb your ass whole, but at the same time, like, yeah, I understand, yeah. You probably... He probably got... bro. you had Kylie Jenner in the car. Megan, uh, no, it was at Kylie Jenner's house. I think it was somebody else in the car. I didn't know who was in the car. Oh, oh no. Matter of fact, it wasn't even Kylie Jenner. It was um, Megan Thee Stallion homegirl. Her yeah. best friend that just got the feds. Oh, damn. <laughs> and then they had the gun in the car with the bitch just got... Bitch, they, damn. She, Megan, you just look on the video. The, the Megan Thee Stallion bounced out. She like this. She trying to walk on her, on her heel because she, she hit in the foot. Damn. So she walking like... Uh, uh, <laughs> don't shoot. She tell the police, don't shoot. Police about to lay her stupid ass out. Police tell her to get on the ground, but she can't. Yes, that shit hurt, bro. Oh, feet fucked she up. She fucked up, yeah. But I, I still don't, but Tori, I don't know what was going through Tori's mind. Tori probably like, this bitch on the play? You let me have the hassle. Well, not, nah, well, he, if, they, if there was a car when he did it, then yeah, that's the people right there. Hey. <laughs> Like, but still, nigga, like, you ain't got no, no. That's you ain't gonna tell me there's, there's, like, you had to shoot the bitch in the foot. No. You didn't have to. Literally. You ain't had to touch it. You could have just let her out the truck. She say let her out. See, I would open that door. I, I, I got out that bitch myself and <laughs> open up the door. Huh, hey, man. huh, there you go. Going on, now. Huh? Go on, slide. I'm gonna hold my hands like this and all while you walking off. Mm-hmm. Because, boy, I'm not. And, bro, like, even though she a woman, bro, like, she can't truly, like, well, I can't say she can't, but 90% of women don't hit that hard, bro. So even if she would have put her hands on you, it's like, Man, it's a power call. Go on, go on. She a woman. Like, I wow. know on Tory Man, if it's six feet, 200 something pounds. Yeah, she said, yeah, he seen the nigga. Bust this bitch. <laughs> he seen the nigga. He, he was drunk, he was drunk and fucking seen the nigga. Hey, you know what they say? Megan the Stallion pulled out a dick on his <laughs> Bro, no, 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 cause um, who they got? They got mad at Cameron for saying that shit, bro. But like he was just like honestly, I feel like he was just saying a joke, it and people took joke. the shit just way too they, far. Like, bro, no. like fe- tall females get them jokes all the time, and I feel like the world's too sensitive nowadays. Like she a taller female, but she real. Fuck, do I get Mine it? is hell, cause I still smash. But I knock a lights out. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, I'm Meg, five, Meg. Hold up, which is both cameras, Meg. <laughs> if you out there. I am 5'5", 230, and I will run your ass down. <laughs> ah, 18 will run your ass down. You better stop playing around here, girl. Hey, I, say, I will run your ass down. Hey, the boy, shit. Like, you all ran me down, I will run your ass down. <laughs> shit. This nigga here, man. 
don't know what to say out of his mouth sometimes. <laughs> My bad. Maybe maybe I went too far. Sorry. It's, it's uh yeah. Is that great? <laughs> but yeah. Oh, man. Man, yeah, yeah, man. Like, uh, I still don't know what to say about that. Megan and Tori. Megan and Tori, man. I guess. I can't you know. say who was wrong, cause you know why? They say Megan the snitch, cause she told who shot her. But everybody knew who shot her. Yeah, everybody kind of already knew that, so she really ain't snitch. She kind of just, just um, what's the name? The facts, like, oh yeah, yeah, he really did. He shot. Yeah, he, he blew me down. Yeah. Yeah, you got to that blow down. I, I, but we don't never know what happened inside that car. Yep. Same shit with Chris Brown, with Rihanna. Nobody yep. know what happened well, no, inside no, no. that car. We can't even say that. We can't even say that. Because Chris really put that shit on front screen on his own documentary. Like, he saying? told a whole, whole story. You know what I'm saying? And nobody know what happened until he said something. Mm. You don't know if he was in that bitch. What happened? <laughs> bitch! Bitch, I told you stop playing me, ho. Stop playing, ho. <laughs> he had to put the Michael Jackson voice on. Okay, we're not gonna keep we can't keep that down. No, nah, we're gonna keep it. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Stand in the show. Both both of them. Yep. It's going it's going on you too. Well <laughs> Man, for real, that, that's one thing I know. That shit down. That Tory that Tory and Megan shit, they ain't nothing but a modern day Chris Brown and Rihanna shit they have. Yeah. Just a little bit just this a little is bit Tory and Iron. Bah, bah, <laughs> bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Crazy, crazy jump off. And it's called testimony time. It's a time where we thank God for bringing us through a situation where we honestly couldn't make it through. I told you about my story. Yeah. I told them about my story. They heard it all over YouTube. Like, they like, oh my gosh, that happened to you? <laughs> that happened to you? And I go, so look, no, because look, oh my gosh, you seem like such a nice guy. What if that happened to you? Like, you know, it was like, man, it happened. I thank God that I made it through. So, you know, I just be trying to give people something to, like, uplift them to go through their week. So, go ahead and drop something for them, man. You got, you got anything you want to tell, tell the people about the testimony? Shit. I'm, boy. Man, look. Real shit. Out of all the shit I've been through this year. You feel me? I lost my mom. I lost my, be I lost my best friend, Chuck. I lost my main man, JT. I lost my other best friend, Ant. Yeah. You feel me? Going you know, down the line, you feel me? I lost a couple of partners out here, you feel me? So it's like basically, I sit back and be like, what they want me to do? Yeah. And the most thing y'all ever, and they ever th said to me, bro, bro, you need to be doing your music, bro. You need to do yeah. something with yourself. Right. You, what you want to do? You feel stand in front of this store all day and sell dope all day? I used to look at the store. Hell yeah, I'm going to sell all the dope I can. At the end of the day, I start thinking about that shit every night. Yeah. Did not. Now that all my people done gone, my old girl, Chuck, Aunt, JT, like these main motherfuckers who I, I used to talk to mostly every day, you feel me? Yeah. Like when they come to, I talk to these motherfuckers. I don't talk to nobody else. So for me to just to sit there and be like, damn, I can't even, can't even call them. Can't even pick up the phone no more. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I'd be like, damn, what the fuck I'm gonna do now? Last nigga, probably the last nigga like got out here is you, he, Draco, Young Loud, like my main niggas, you feel me? Like, my, my childhood niggas, you feel me? I got, like, most of, like, I got cap, all these niggas, like, I got a lot of partners, you feel me? But it's just these motherfuckers that's gone, like, the three motherfuckers, not even including my old girl, you feel me? Like, my three partners that's JT and, and Ch like, nigga. Y'all niggas supposed to be here with me, you feel me? At every step. Y'all niggas supposed to really like be here with me, but I guess God ain't had that in tune. Like he wants God trying to really like show a nigga something. Real shit. That's what I be thinking like, yeah, I lost my partner physically, but every day I wake up, you know I feel my boys. Yeah. Like, I I can hear Chuck, I can hear Ant voice, and I hear JT voice every day in the back of my head. You feel me? But I don't do that dumb ass shit. Yeah. Do what you do, go ahead, do what you been doing. Like that shit fucked me up so bad. Mm. Why well, I be thinking like, man. I I remember one like that was a week ago, man. I was like, man, fuck this music shit. Real shit. I told my son, I said, man, fuck this music shit. Then something just felt I, I swear to God I felt like a rock. And it wasn't shit, bro. But I caught a little pain right here, bro. Mm. I don't know what the fuck it was to that to this day, but I, 
I started thinking like, I know what the fuck that was. That was they uh, hit me in the back of my head. They mm-hmm. might can't hit me physically, but they right there like this. It, Hey. I'm gonna make sure he fit like, and I felt the little pain, you feel me? So that one like really fucked me up. So that like testimony, like that's my testimony. Like me losing my dogs, my mom, you feel me? I never cried. I never cried when nobody died, bro. I swear to God, I'm that. I was. I'm, I ain't a hard body or nothing. Like you feel me? They got a heart and shit. But it's like when people die, I just look at that shit like, oh, come I lost my cousin a long time ago. My cousin doing this, you feel me? I lost him. After that shit, I ain't never cried. It's like, man, your auntie just died. Oh, for real? All right. Just going about my business. Yeah. But nigga, so my old girl died. Boo-hoo cry. I ain't, cause, I ain't expect her to go like that. Yeah. And so my partners them left me, man. Bitch, I wanted, I wanted to blow the whole world up. Yeah. Like, all my, like, both of my, I lost two partners to car accident. You feel me? Like, a bitch ain't kill my partners, like, right? You feel me? A bitch ain't killed by two partners. Two of my partners, a bitch killed shot, you feel me? But a bitch, the, the two nigga aunt and fucking JT, nobody ain't, nobody ain't killing me. They was in the car accidents and shit. Accidents, yeah. like accidents happened, you feel me? But damn, why the fuck would you niggas be doing all this shit, bro? Your niggas supposed to be at home or somewhere with your kids or some shit. Yeah. Niggas ain't supposed to be out in the street. Y'all know we got in tune. You feel me? That'd be on my mind. That would really be on my mind like a lot. So basically, I just sit back and just like, man, it's either I'm going to die doing what I love, or I'm going to die for nothing. Okay. And with that, we say, God is real. Man, bruh, this been one of the funnest episodes I have had. <laughs> Not even going to lie to you, bro. Man, God. Damn, boy, y'all see my boy Loco Pablo, man. Yeah. You already know we turned in this guy. Man, bro, before you go, go ahead and give him all your social media. Like, let him run it down. Like, I'm going to make sure that we put it up on the screen because it's going to be on the screen on YouTube. Like, you know your name, you know, um, oh, everything shit. where they can reach you at. My like page is Loco Pablo, you feel me? Loco Pablo, L-O-K-O, no C's, you feel me? Instagram, Loco Pablo 305, Twitter. Local underscore Pablo 305. Mm-hmm. Shit. Google. Local yeah. Pablo. I'm going to pop up. Yeah. As long as you type my name in Google, I'm going to pop up. Yeah. Anywhere. I'm nationwide, baby. Yeah. Say less, man. Like I always say at the end of every show, we welcome you to the shit show. Now it's time for your ass to go. Whoa. We out. <laughs>